The most eagerly awaited show of New York Fashion Week is always Marc Jacobs, but he upped the ante this week by moving at the last minute from his traditional slot on Monday night to the very end of the week on Thursday, thus upheaving the best laid plans of the fashion world. But we make sacrifices for Mark. The set was so incredible with the blinding orange orb and the light was turning everything sepia and pulling the color out of all the clothes. I'd been to an exhibition by a very brilliant artist named Oliver Eliasson at the Turbine Hall. It was called The Weather Project and people were lying all over the floor and they were looking up at this mirror that, that he'd cover the ceiling with and there was this big yellow sun and everything was rendered grays and blacks and whites and of course the gold from the gold light. It's just something very serene and peaceful about it and I guess it sort of in some way represented the calm after a storm. Doing it the second time was to show it in its color and that there was hope and light and glamour. It made you study the clothes more and you really did see such different things about the clothes when it was the orange light versus the silvery white light the second time around. After Hurricane Sandy, me and amongst many other people were homeless and I was feeling very sad and down and depressed. We kind of just thought we'd like to do things that were of comfort to us, keep it very simple and kind of distill it to loungy, comforting, classically referenced pieces such as pajamas, cable knit sweaters, little fur capes, not fussy, but still dynamic and bold. The thing that to me is so amazing is he still is able to do his signature things, the sparkle, the sexy little pieces, like a sequined pajama top. The shoes are amazing, amazing coats. What I love about his clothes is that they're nostalgic. You know, you can always relate to the reference, but then they're so well done and the tailoring is always so well done. Anybody who wears them looks impeccable and chic. So it's the best of every world. Every season I say, he's never going to top this. There's no way. And he always does something completely different. Mark just elevates everything so much.